Hello there, in this video I'm going to be showing you a quick way to generate uh, SVG logos in Figma that you can use in your projects. Now usually when I'm creating a demo project or a side project, uh, I want, a, uh, I want a, a small logo that will just make the demo look beautiful. So this is a quick method and it, 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 and it, it, it's, it doesn't take that long. So in this video I'm going to be creating a simple logo like this. Uh, that I'm going to restyle in CSS then uh, apply some simple animations to it. So if you like tutorials like this, uh, please subscribe to my channel and let's get started. So in this video I'm going to be uh, coding in CodePen. Uh, as you can see I've already set up a header and I've got this sort of a background gradient thing going on here as well. And uh, I've got the markup here. Uh, uh, as you can see I've got the markup of the header. And uh, the header has a, a container, and uh, within the container, I've got a wrapper, a logo wrapper, and a nav section. Okay, so and uh, as you can see here, I've got all the CSS styling. And if I inspect on the debugger uh, and just look at the uh, the styling, okay, so um, so I've got, I've got uh, let me just get the logo part. Okay, so I've got the logo wrapper there. Okay, so so I've got the header there, <coughs> and within the header I've got the container, logo wrapper, and the nav section. So the container has a flex uh, layout. So if I go into that uh, style and in that click on that flex button, and you you can see sort of general you know how it's set up here. So it's got uh, direction row, no wrap, and normal. And a justify content, uh, I've got its space between. That's 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 why it's got sort of you know the nav is on the right and the logo is on the left. So if I if I sort of change that, you know, you can center it and put it to the left and right. So 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 that that that's that's the sort of the, the layout uh, uh, how we styled it. So if I go into the CSS, I can just generally go over what I have. So I've got some. Um, variables that I'm going to be using. Uh, it's mainly for the color theme. Okay, so I'm going to have red, black, and light gray. Okay, so and then I've got these sort of general reset styles here. Oops. Okay, so I've got, you know, just general uh, default styles. Uh, so I've got like, you know, links uh, that take out all the decorations and display in my block. And as you can see, the header is absolute position at the top, sort of sticky. And then I've got the container there, and as you can see, it's a flex, and just uh, highlighted the space between. And uh, as you can see, I'm using the background color there, and I uh, just want to go back to the body. But uh, as you can see, I've got the gradient, background linear gradient, that's, that's that effect that you see there. It's got the dark blue and light blue thing. Okay, so if I go down, uh, and... So it's generally sort of, you know, I've got, got the logo styling, which I'm going to set it, I'm going to give it a, a, a width and a height. And as you can see, I'm going to remove that when I put the logo in. So, and the nav section's a, a flex layout, and it's got some links, and when you hover over it, uh, it changes color. And, uh, and there's also um, a, a sort of an animation thing going on there. As well, so I've got a pseudo code that uh, draws a sort of a, a border, which is, but basically it's, it's a, a pseudo element, and that gets animated as you can see here. So if I just hover over, so it's got this simple of uh, animation. So that's what the this the nav link hover uh, thing is doing here. Okay, so that's the general. Uh, styling, all right, and so if I go into Figma, so I've got Figma open already. Uh, as you can see, I've got a blank document, I created a blank document. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna go to the menu at the top and I'm gonna create uh, a rectangle. So for for our for our logo, we we're gonna keep it very simple. Uh, we're gonna create um, a, a simple rectangle with. Uh, a star and some text. So we're keeping it simple because the more detail that you add, the more complex the code, uh, the SVG code becomes. So for this demo, we're gonna keep it very simple, but you can play around with it and make complicated stuff. 
Okay, so um, so I've created a rectangle here. So I'm going to change the dimensions. Uh, if I go to the right hand side, you can uh, change all sorts of dimensions of the shapes. So I'm going to click on the W, which is the width. I'm going to give it 180 and the height of 80. Okay, so then also I'm going to uh, give it a color of red. Let's give it a red. Yeah, that will do. Okay, so then. Uh, and we're also going to give it a radius. So if you, if you look at on the right hand side, uh, the curved line, and if you hover over it, it says corner radius. So you can change the corner radius there. So I'm going to give it uh, a corner radius of 10. So as you can see, it's got a, a rounded box now. Okay, now we're going to add a simple star shape. So I'm going to go to the menu and I'm going to click on the, um, the square, but I'm going to choose the star. Okay, so and I'm going to draw the star in, inside there, and I'm going to also give this a, a dimension. So I'm going to give it a 50 by 50 uh, measurements. Okay, so so now I've got a star there. Now I'm going to add some text there. So I'm going to uh, just click on the text, and then I'm going to. So as you can see, I, I clicked on the text icon there, and I just dragged it. Okay, so I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to just say star TV. Okay, so, and you, you can, uh, I've made this um, bold and 20 there. So that's, that's, uh, so if it, if you've set something else, then you can change the uh, size in there. So I'll just keep it at that. And I can just sort of uh, uh, play around with it to sort of center it. Okay, so that's sort of centered. And then with the selector, I'm going to just select the whole thing. Okay, then the whole thing is uh, highlighted. And then I right click on it and I go to the bottom and say copy as SVG. Okay, and that's all you need to do. All right, now it's it's copied the SVG information. Okay, now into your clipboard. So now I'm going to go back into Cold Pen. And I'm just gonna go on the markup. I'm just gonna paste it for uh, for uh, to view it. Okay, so I'm just gonna paste it at the bottom. Okay, uh, so we're we, we're not gonna put it here. We're gonna change it later. But uh, I'm just gonna go through the SVG code. So uh, for the SVG code that we've just copied, uh, basically we we don't uh, need the XML stuff there. Okay, and we uh, we uh, so within the SVG we've got a rectangle, we've got a path, and we've got well we've got two we've got two paths there, and we've got a rectangle. So basically, the rectangle is the uh, uh, it's the rounded corner rectangle that we drew, uh, the red one. Okay, then the path is the first path is for the star. And the second path is for the text. Now, uh, basically, what we what it's converted it's converted the text into a, a set of coordinates. Uh, so these are the coordinates for all the all the letters. So that's why you know when you add a, a simple piece of detail, it, it will turn it into code. So every letter will be sort of coded into some coordinates. So that's why. So to simplify this, I'm just gonna uh, just for demonstration. You don't need to do this. I'm just gonna. Uh, delete that code between the inverted commas. Okay, so just to highlight what uh, what the skeleton structure of an SVG is. Okay, so so we got a, we got the rectangle, and we got the the part uh, we got two paths. Okay, so this the first path is for the if I just uh, okay, so you see better. Okay, so the first path is the path for the uh, the star, and the second path is for the um, for the text. Okay, so so I'm gonna put it back to what it was. Okay, so I put back the code. Okay, so this this is everything between the inverted commas. So I'm just taking it out to simplify it. So I've got so I've got two paths and a rectangle. So and uh, within the SVG uh, tag. Uh, we also have a width and height, so we don't need that because we're going to give the width and height to the 
the, the logo element uh, on the markup. So, uh, so this is what it looks like uh, without uh, with the height. It sort of uh, enlarges it. Okay. So, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to also uh, to to style it. We need to do extra steps. Okay. So, uh, so we we're going to do some styling for the the shape and the text. So. So in order to uh, do some CSS styling, we need to give it CSS classes. So that's what I'm going to do here. So the first path, I'm going to give it a class of uh, shape, okay? And the second one, I'm going to give it a class of uh, text, okay? So I'm going to uh, shape and the text, okay? So, so I'm just going to copy this I'm going to copy this uh, SVG markup and just going to cut it out from there okay I'm going to place it in between here so okay so as you can see I've got uh, the logo appearing there and it fits into that space okay now so um, as you recall I, I, I um, Remove the the SVG uh, width and height there because I've got uh, I've given a width and height there. So uh, what it does is it this will uh, resize it uh, to fit into there. So that's why uh, we removed it. But uh, don't uh, remove the view box. View, view box is very important. Uh, don't touch that. Okay. So going back. Um, so what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to uh, change the uh, uh, style of this so that. Uh, I can uh, do some simple animation. Okay, so um, so as uh, as you recall, uh, we uh, we're gonna first target the rectangle. So we're gonna say rect, and uh, we're gonna give it a fill color of. Uh, 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 if I go back to the um, variables, we got uh, color one, color two, and color three: uh, red, black, and light gray. So I'm gonna use those colors so I'm gonna say fill and use the variables and I'm gonna say give it a color two okay so it's gonna be black so it's black so and uh, so now I'm gonna target the uh, uh, the text so the text and uh, the shape I'm going to say dot shape and dot text. Okay, and I'm going to give that a fill color of a bar. And I'm going to say, wait a minute, so I'm going to give it a uh, color. Uh, let me let me give it a uh, create a white white there as well. So I'll say well, I'll add another color there. So. I'm going to Okay, so so I'm gonna add it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it color four, which is white. Okay, so so now we got uh, so we got we, we changed the whole color uh, for the logo. So a, as you recall, uh, we we already had color in the markup. If I go back to the markup, so we had a full color already. So we're just overriding that. Uh, this, so this was generated in Figma. So, so we can override all these colors. Okay, so, so that's that's the rectangle and the shape. Okay, so now, also, um, we're gonna have a uh, for the text and the shape. We're gonna have a um, stroke width of uh, two pixels. All right, and, and then we're we're also gonna have an animation. So we're gonna say. So we're gonna have a transition animation, and it's going to be uh, so we're gonna say stroke, and it's gonna be stroke width. We're gonna have two seconds. And it's gonna be e scene. Okay, so. Uh, 
uh, and for the rectangle as well. So we're going to have uh, just going to copy that and paste that there. But it's not going to be stroke. It's going to be uh, fill. So it's going to be. Oops, I spelled ease. Ease wrong there. Ease. Ease in. Okay. So now this is going to change when we hover over the uh, the A tag. Okay. So the logo. Okay. So so we're going to do a. So we're going to have um, when we hover over the logo. So. Uh, so dot logo hover and when we hover over the logo we want to target the rectangle okay and we're going to change the, the fill color to um, variable it's going to be our color one so if i hover over there so oops, so it's color one. It's gonna be, okay. So that's uh, so it's changing and it's taking two seconds. So I'll just change the two seconds to uh, zero point five. Okay. So when it changes, okay. So so now it's a better effect. Okay. So so that's how you target. Uh, uh, the individual elements in the SVG. Okay, so we can do the same thing for uh, the shape and the text. So if I do, I do another one. Uh, dot logo over, and it's going to be we're going to target dot text, and we're also going to do another one. Dot logo on hover, and we're going to target the shape. Dot shape. So now for this, uh, I'm gonna uh, change the stroke width. Okay, so all right, so we're gonna change the stroke width. So stroke uh, width equals uh, two pixels, and we're also gonna get change the stroke uh, color, which you know, we're gonna have var. We're going to say color three, I think. So that should make it a light gray. There you go. So that's how you. So I can just take away the border there, so it looks better. So I've got. Uh, so I've got. I take the border away. And there you go. So that's how you generate uh, SVG logo in Figma and put it into your uh, projects uh, directly. So as long as you keep it simple, uh, you know, you shouldn't get any problems. So hope you enjoyed it and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.